Thanks for tuning into this stream. We're doing this one a little bit late today, but that's fine. Um, today we're going to do Brooklyn, New York, basically Brownstone, Brooklyn, kind of around Park Slope, Carroll Gardens, Prospect Heights, Windsor Terrace, Greenwood. That's kind of where we focus. And there's a lot of new homes on the market compared to yesterday and the day before. I don't think we're going to be able to get through all of them, but we're definitely going to check them out. We're going to do this stream every day, Monday through Friday, where we keep on top of the hot sheets. What's coming to market? We're in January. February is here. That means spring market is around the corner. Interest rates are dropping. People are getting ready to move. So we're going to go see as many of these as we can, and hopefully you find it entertaining and informative. I My name is Marcus Schott. I have a real estate business over in Brooklyn. We also do New Jersey. We also do investment properties down in Georgia. So if you need any help, give us a call. Just Or if you're just here to have fun and I mean, you're scrolling through Zillow anyways, looking at the houses that you want to buy. You might as well do it with somebody who's your best friend, basically. All right, we're going to go start over in Gowanus right here. The stream is going. Perfect. All right, 111, Third Street, Apartment 2, Gowanus. So Gowanus just got rezoned, uh, I think, last year. It's been like 10 years in the waiting for rezoning. So there's going to be a lot. There, there has been other development, but, you know, if you're familiar with Gowanus, a lot of residential development. Now there's going to be even more. It's going to be its own neighborhood. It used to be, I mean, it kind of still is uh, a super fun f site, but I think there's there's going to be continued more and more housing down here. It's, it's already its own neighborhood. It's going to continue to be, um, you know, the previous, it used to be kind of more an industrial zone. It's going to be switched to residential because of the housing that we need in New York. All right. So this is one point. Just 1.595, just a hair under 1.6. Two bedroom, two bath, 1,080 square foot condo built in 2012. Well proportioned, two bedroom, two bath, private roof deck, right on third and bond is an award winning 44 unit condominium composed of townhouse style buildings. I don't think I've been in this complex before. So there's like a townhouse style condo development here. Nice living room. You got your Peloton. Got to work out. Nice hardwood floors. Great light. So this apartment two. So I guess this is a townhouse duplex. This is the second floor. Might be wrong. Well, let's just not get ahead of ourselves here. Nice living room. Great open kitchen. Basic. It's not super high end. It's definitely not baseline at all. Nice hardwood floors. Uh, open kitchen. Recessed lighting. Vents up here for central air cute little living room like we just saw nice living room bedroom big enough to have own little office in there that's very nice nice view out the window second bedroom look at like like a child's room nice bathroom listen i love you know i'm not a fan of green and teal in the bathroom but this is good this is a nice color scheme here i like this Bravo, bravo, I approve, approve here. Nice and clean, large windows, make it feel big, make it large, double sink, nice bathroom. Nice second bathroom too, basic, all white, but very floating floating sink here, more minimal design. Oh yeah, I've, I've been in these before. It's been a couple years, but yeah, so these are a group of townhouse condos over in Gowanus. Yeah, sorry, this lighting is not great right now. Not that better? It's, I don't know. Probably made it worse. Private roof deck. Here you go. You know, bedrooms on one side, living room over here, dining room. So you have a little, this is a nice little entryway separated. People like to have a separate bedrooms, but this is totally fine. That's it. That's it for that one. The, go and doing this for apartments goes by a lot quicker. We can get more done without boring you. Do we do this one? I don't want to do that one. Ah, let's do it. We're already here. Windsor Terrace, this is like, uh, oh, this is actually for sale by owner, so I can go right to the owner on this one. If you need, if you need me, that's great too. 2.38, seven bedroom, six bath, 3,100 square feet. This is on 18th Street in Windsor Terrace, but is it on the other side? Okay, so this is like true Windsor Terrace, so you're on the this side of the Prospect Park Expressway. Not too many details. I'm gonna assume this is a three family. 
multifamily. Yeah, this is the problem when you deal with multifamily owners. They don't know. See, pictures don't do it justice. This is why you get a real estate agent. But this is a nice little house. You know, you're on 18th Street. You're going to be a little close to Prospect Park. Uh, sorry, the Prospect Park Expressway. But Windsor Terrace is awesome. It's a great place. You can live in one unit, rent out the other. Looks like it's pretty good shape. You know, you got composite floors, which I'm not a fan of. It's probably not hardwood. Do a little painting. But this is a great multi-unit house. Have I been in this one? Was this, this might have been on the market. Huh. You know what? Huh. Ah, uh, I've actually seen this house before, years ago. This is great. I like this. Nice kitchen. So I think they were renting out that back house as like a work studio, and I went to go look at it for my own office. This might be the same house. Huh. Call this guy. Nice living room. This is a great little townhouse. 18th Street is really nice. I mean, you are, it's going to be a little noisy there, but it's not too bad. Walk to the park. Go to Prospect Park West with the retail space. It's a great little neighborhood. It's a great little multifamily. We'll say multi-unit. Listen, it's in fine shape. You don't even need to do that much to it. You can make it yourself if you want. I've definitely been in this house. Is this the house? All right, I'll, I'll do that later. I won't bore you with that. Get confusing. Try to keep the ball rolling here. 5.5. Did we check this one out? Okay, so this one just hit the market. Just a little bit under 5.5. Carroll Street, one of the most beautiful streets in Park Slope. Multifamily, 20-foot wide historic townhouse built in 1855. 4,300 square feet. Big house. It's a great house. All right. If you like it, you can go look at it some more. But this is the thing. You can go look. Tune into my stream. Go on to Zillow. You'll be able, you see the map. You can find these places. Or contact us if you want some help. Beautiful house. Man, great. It's a gorgeous house. Classic architecture. Wood trim. Original. Looks like original wood floors. Beautiful open. These are probably some sort of pocket door. Nice kitchen. Open layout. Nice. This is a nice house. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. That's the thing. Brooklyn townhouses are the best. I mean, that's that's the best. Look at this. This is beautiful. You just get to look at that all the time. Classy. 1800s. So it's kind of typical. A lot of times people build these. You know, you get the rights to build these little decks out here. It's only 15 photos. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. This is even nicer. Subtly different, but just craftsmanship. It's a great house. Prime Park Slope. Beautiful light, extra wide, 20 feet. This is your bathroom. This is nice. Just classy wood. Finished basement. This is great. They really, it looks like they probably sealed it out, which is great. Get to use the basement. Mostly storage space. Great house. Beautiful block. Prime location. Look at this floor plan. One, two, three, four, five. Four stories plus the basement, a lot of space here. So they're probably not even including this. They're not including the cellar and the square footage. So great house. What is this one? Do we see this one? All right. So just to compare this, this is another multifamily. This is down the hill, closer to Fourth Avenue. One point, just under one seven. Four bedroom, two bath, twenty one sixty square feet on Third Avenue. Third Avenue, you know, transitions from south to north. Residential, more industrial. But four bedroom, two bath, 2160. Let's just get into it. You know, older townhouse. Looks like a nice. This is like the. Yeah, they probably made the bottom unit into a rental unit. Yep. So bottom floor is finished. That's great. Extra, excellent use of space. You know, typical multifamily you'll see in this area. You know, one seven is what they go for. This is in pretty good shape. Nice. Nice little backyard. You can spruce this up. You got your own pool. You got a pool, man. All right, one seven. I'm not going to get too into this. That wasn't the basement. It was the first floor. Oh, base. So you got basement and that's first floor here. Oh, no, this is the basement. All right, nice. Needs a little bit of work, but you can make it your own. 
compare that to a condo, you know? Do I see this? this one? Let's go move over here a little bit. Yeah, a lot of new stuff on the market. Just hit the market. Wow. A lot of new stuff hitting the market. First floor, condo, two bedroom, one bath, a million bucks, listed six hours ago over in Fort Greene, not too far from the park. You're right next to a plenty of subways over there. A million bucks. This will probably, I think this is going to go quick. Just start pricing, like I say, when I'm talking with everybody, pricing is everything. Not everything, but you know, it makes a huge difference. Beautiful decorative fireplace, built-in shelving, Bosch dishwasher, maybe upgrade that. Nice little kitchen, good layout, cute bedroom right here. This is fun. X lax <laughs> relief of constipation, the chocolate laxative. That's funny. This is probably a kid's room, I bet. That's just funny. I like when I see stuff and I laugh. Bathroom needs a little bit of work. First floor, you know, some people don't like first floor. Some people do, so you don't have to be going up and down the stairs. They're a sewer. You learn a lot about people from what they have their houses. Have. I've never been in this building before. I've walked by it a bunch. Nice brick building. Cute little courtyard. Yeah, I've walked by this a bunch. I've never been in it, though. This is cool. cool. Nice little layout. Not huge. Ceiling height, seven feet. Not very tall. So, you know, it's better to have eight or nine foot ceilings, but seven foot's like the, the bait, the cutoff right there. All right, not too bad. Let's go over here. This is probably the Clinton. Yeah, this is like the Clinton Hill co-ops. There's a bunch of nice co-ops over here in this section of Brooklyn. Two bedroom, one bath. They got nice views. 11th floor, high up, nice area over by Pratt. Rarely available, two bedroom, ready to sell. Sounds like they want an offer, okay? They always have these these co-ops are great. They have nice light, decorative fireplace here. Never it definitely does not work. But they have these little breakfast nooks. You got great views depending on where you are, even if you're facing the interior, lots of light, great neighborhood. Kitchen needs a little bit of an update. Fake exposed brick. Yeah, kitchen, they could open this up a little bit. But this, this, these condo complexes are great. Everybody likes these. Wood floor maybe needs a little bit of work. But look, the views are awesome. High floor, especially if you get a high floor one. Bathroom, kitchen needs some updating, but a lot of people want to do that on their own anyways. Look at the, so these, look, like, here you go. These are these layouts. They have really great layouts for these co-ops here. Bedroom, bedroom, living room, dining room, hallway, into the kitchen. I've even seen people open these up, and I've also seen people close these off to get an extra bedroom in here, because it's 10 by 8, so put a closet in there, it's a bedroom. How you doing? How you doing? So we just ate. So we'll go over to what the 361. It's a different set of co-ops, but it's right there. You'll just kind of see the difference in price. Open house this weekend if you want to go look at it. 1F. First showing sat Sunday, January 28th. I'm going to try to get there. Historic Clinton Hill, thoughtfully rent. So this one's renovated, so you can see the price difference, all right? This is, we're trying to educate and entertain you here, okay? Just shy under a million. First floor, so you want some privacy there. Yeah, window units. Updated floors, like I was saying. Big, nice, open layout. Brand, you know, very updated kitchen, really nice. They look, they open this one up like we were talking about before. First floor, nice bedroom size. You, know, you need window units here, that's fine. Nice bedroom, good size, proportion. I love, I'm, these black tiles are growing on me. Nicely renovated bathroom. See, this is what I was talking about before. Take out the wall, open it up. Make it a lot nicer, but these are basically the same, same layout here. So compare and contrast, my friends. Compare and contrast. So what was that? 995 compared to 495. So another $150,000 for the renovation. Do you want to do it yourself? Could you do it for cheaper? Maybe. 
But that's also a low floor, too. So we did Brooklyn Heights the other day. We're not going to do that. A lot of stuff came on the market. Things are getting busy. Also, people like the list of middle of the week, end of the week. So, all right, we're going to do two more and be done with this one today. 2.5 first showings by appointment with 24 hours notice. Three family income producing. Been in the same family for generations. Okay. Townhouse, three family. Nicely updated. This looks virtually staged, I think. Maybe it's not. Yeah, I'm. This is okay. I'm have a feeling this is virtually staged. Let's see how this actually shows up. But nice. Maybe it's not. Nice, nice bathroom. I like that. It's, I like that. Yeah, great. Prospect Heights, two five, right? Two five, three bedroom, three bath, thirty one eighty two square feet. Nice big garden backyard. Nice townhouse. Everybody wants a townhouse. Do we have anything nice over here? All right, let's go over to bed -Stuy just to check out what's going on there because I haven't done that in a while. Quincy Street, 1938, six-bedroom, four-bath, 3150 square feet townhouse. Listed on one key. It's usually upstate with that MLS. Charming Brownstone, legal. This is a legal four-family use as a three-family. So you get four units for two, just under two. That's cool. Nice townhouse, typical of what you see in bed -Stuy. Awful paint, but painting's an easy fix. Orange, i not a fan. But this is kind of typical of what you see on a first floor of Brownstone. Prime location. They're built like a brick house because they are. This is great. Listen, four units for under two million. Put a little bit of work. You can leave it as is and just tidy it up and paint. Great for like a live-in and rent it out or just an income property. It's a great house. Some of the original details here. Swap out a couple light fixtures. What is this? Is this tile floor on like a tile floor? There you go. Kitchen. Looks nice. Good backsplash. That's all you need. Bathroom. Hmm. Tile floor, eh? Back, backyard needs a little work, but it's a four unit, four unit in bed style, all separate meters. Great, great. Someone will buy this. This will go quick. That'll go quick. Let's see if we see anything else that's like super catching our eye here. One last time, one last time. All right, anything like super. Oh, let's do this one. Open house Sunday, 111 Montgomery Street. Two bedroom, two bath, 963 square feet, eighth floor. Got a lot of curb appeal here. Ooh, nice entryway. Just fun. I mean, there is something to be said about just coming in. Beautiful entryway when you get to your house. I mean, eighth floor, a lot of light. Nice furnishing. These people are classy. This will help it sell quickly. Got built-in blinds. Not floor to ceiling, but almost floor to ceiling windows. It's a nice condo. Stackable washer dryer in unit. Very sleek, modern kitchen, open. Got the Buddha head right there. This is fun. Like, usually, like, this is a fun bathroom. I like this one. Cool. It's a nice condo. Two bedroom, two bath. 963 square feet. One, two, two, five. This will go. This will go quickly. Common roof deck, storage, bike room. This will go quick. Have I been in this one? I don't think I've been in this one. No, I haven't. Nice building. That'll go quick. All right. Anything else I really have to see here? No, we're good. All right. We don't want to go like this. There's just compared to yesterday, so much more on the market. So if you're in the market, you're looking. Keep an eye out. Inventory has been super tight everywhere, especially in the city. So take a look. I'm surprised how much is back on the market. If I did every home, it would take forever. So we're not going to do that. No, I don't want to do that one. I don't like that building. All right, we're not going to bore you too much. Oh, no, we just saw that one. All right, now we'll do the last one. 
475 sterling, two bedroom, two bath, 1100 square foot condo. I think I've been in this one. Sundrenched South Face South Facing Sanctuary. Say that for Sundrenched South Facing Sanctuary. Say that 10 times fast. Nestled in the heart of Crown Heights. Built in 2006. 11 20 12 22 square per square foot. It's right in the mark. This will go quickly. Beautiful floor to ceiling, true floor to ceiling windows in the living room, south facing. This is great. Nice hardwood floors, storage um, closets there, more with the light. Very nice kitchen, I floating island here. It's like some different variation of a Wayne's coating. Subtle background there, or a backsplash. Again, with the floor to ceiling light. This is a great condo. Great condo. You'll be comfortable living here. Nice bathroom. They have some sage back there just like for to get the spirits out. Nice. Nice bathroom. It's good shape. You got your own little gym in there, so you don't need to go to the fitness room or the gym and get a membership. Kids' room. Common roof deck. Big backyard. Yeah, I've been in this building before. It's a nice condo. I mean, it's getting on the older side, but also, this is great. You have the split bedrooms here. So you're not sharing a bed with someone. So like your extra family, roommates, whatever. Nice house. You like that. All right. That's it for today. We're not going to go through every one, but we'll go through as many as we can without completely boring you. Thanks for tuning in. If you are in the market, message me, Marcus Shot at Marcus Amadeus on Instagram, MarcusShot.com. Just you'll find me. Send a, put a comment. I'll, I'll contact you as well. Enjoy yourself. This is we're gonna do this stream every day, Monday through Friday, looking at all the new homes in the market, give you my opinion. Scroll, scroll and shop Zillow together. Bye bye. Subscribe to my channel.